Hey guys, it's Asim Sharma, training manager from Solframe Consulting again. I do hope you're all safe and doing well. Uh, today I'm going to briefly explore the concept of dealing with angry people and how do you channelize or should channelize um, your anger. When you're irate, how do you deal with it in a professional capacity? That's very important. Uh, we must all remind ourselves that we are all human okay and it is okay to get angry irrespective of the situation it's important how you express that anger in a productive way and how it is filtered so I'll give you an example um, I personally um, have tamed myself over the years and I've mentioned this in a previous video uh, when I'm angry it's not a pretty sight um, I wouldn't say I behave inappropriately at all, but as some of you may be able to relate to this, I'm pretty straightforward. So if something is bothering me, I will confront someone about it and I will say, listen, buddy, this is bothering me. This is what is wrong according to me and this is the solution that I seek or this is what we've got to do about it. What do you have to say? So, I mean, it's constructive, but still the way I'm coming across, the way I am portraying myself it may um, you know, be perceived as being aggressive. Uh, someone may feel that their, uh, their personal space is being violated. Some people, I, I wouldn't agree actually. But then again, we can't change people's perceptions. What we can do is try to uh, achieve a balance between being polite and firm, so being assertive, and this is something that I've mentioned before, and get the point across. So let's say um, I have asked uh, someone who is working under me, I've delegated them a task um, and I've set a deadline that I need this done by the end of the week. Uh, lo and behold, the end of the week arrives and it, the work hasn't been done. I ask for an update uh, in, in a calm manner and the person says, um, they come up with something which I don't believe construes to be uh, appropriate or valid reason which has led to a delay, which has incurred this delay. Um, so what can you do about it? So, you know, my immediate, my gut instinct may be that, okay, I'm going to scold this person now and so on. Um, but then what we need to do, and you must have heard this before many times, yes, take a step back, review the situation. If it's not something which is immediately required, perhaps don't even speak to the person. And again, accept that it's okay to be angry, it's okay, it's okay to be infuriated and wish to maybe even virtually punch the person in the face. It's okay. But that's not the way to go about it. It's not productive, right? So um, what I would say instead is that, okay, um, if I have to deal with it at hand because it's the end of the week and this is kind of urgent and it affects the whole team's productivity, I would say, okay, uh, I would like to know from you what is the reason? Something along those lines. So you're kind of giving uh, that person, the person who's answerable to you, the recipient of this potential scolding, um, the opportunity to explain themselves. Um, some people may, you know, seek redemption. Some people may become defensive. We can't really help that. So depending on what they say, I would just simply probe them. We can use probing questions. Again, this is something I mentioned before that look, um, what, what exactly happened? When did you feel that you needed perhaps more support? Is there something I can help you with? Why did you feel that you could not reach out to me earlier? Is there a reason why you didn't update me earlier? Something along those lines, okay? Uh, I'm not trying to seek a gift trip here, but I'm trying to kind of make the person realize that if you feel that I was not accessible, then let's try to fix that so that this does not recur. And if that's not the reason, then what is the reason? And why did you not bother telling me? It's one thing not being able to do the work. It's another saying, and again, I mentioned this in previous videos, that look, there is a reason why my productivity is being hit. And this is the plan I, uh, I'm going to undertake to be able to fix that. And I may need an extension or I may do things differently. What do you say? And of course, I'll be, I'll be open to that. I'll be like, okay, thank you. I appreciate the the responsibility that you've taken to inform me of this in a timely manner as soon as you got to know and uh, this is what we can do about it and this is how we can work synergistically to make sure that an outcome that is reached is still productive in some way. 
Um, if that doesn't work, then I'd say, okay, I'm disappointed. There's nothing wrong with being straightforward. I don't need to necessarily raise my voice. That's not very productive. And you can just channelize your anger by using words that, look, I'm disappointed, I'm angry with you right now. Um, I'm not quite sure how to go about this. I need a few hours or I'll connect with you later with my plan of action, what's going to happen. Right now, this is what I want you to do, X, Y, and Z. Do you have an issue with doing this? And when do you think you'd be able to do this for me? And if they still quote an um, unreasonable time frame, I'll say, I'm sorry, that's not acceptable to me. This is what I expect from you. And if you can't do it, let me know right now. But then I would take the uh, necessary action, whatever that may be. And watch this space. I'm not going to say what that may be. Maybe that the person is kicked off the project. Maybe that the person is reprimanded in some way. Or worse. Whatever it may be. Again, thinking with an angry mindset is not always... Uh, or often isn't sustainable. It's not a good idea to fire someone because you are uh, angry. That is very destructive, all right? But then again, you guys know that anyway. Point I'm trying to make is be clear about setting your expectations, understand why something hasn't happened, make the person realize that you are upset about it and how it's affected you, all right? Try to make amends to see how someone can, um, you know, perceive you to be more approachable and accessible so that they don't fear sharing those concerns with you at an earlier stage, all right? All of these things will make a difference. There's no point in shouting at the person and saying, look, you're good for nothing and criticizing them. That's not constructive at all. And I've been there. I've been a, a recipient of such behavior. It's just demoralizing. And um, there would have been a point where I would have also responded in a bad way. Now, I also, let's say you're at the re receiving end. Now, let's come on to the, briefly the second point. You're at the receiving end. You can just say, okay, Empathize. I can see that you're angry. I can see I've disappointed you. And perhaps I don't have a very good explanation for justifying why this has happened. But I am here to set things straight now. I will try my best. Give me this much time. And this is my last chance. And if I fail to deliver, you may do as so as you wish. Okay. Um, I'm not saying it will work all the time. But often it will help to pacify someone in, in a constructive way. So, the point is, don't fear anger, don't necessarily fight, it is okay to disagree, be clear, set the expectations, use words, alright, words like disappointment, anger, is fine, I'm upset, delay, why did this happen, rather than just shouting and screaming at the person. These are the things that are going to help you to grow as a team, be it you in a leadership position, be it you at the receiving end, or somewhere in between. Maybe I'm answerable to someone and because someone who was working under me hasn't delivered, now I have to face the wrath of that person. That's not good either. I hope you found this useful. All right, for further tips and information, we will be releasing courses associated with this. And please do check our YouTube channel, our social media platforms, including LinkedIn, Facebook and Insta. Please subscribe. I do look forward to seeing you. Please do stay safe. All right, these are unprecedented times. Until next time, take care, thank you very much, and bye-bye.